snow can be a hassle when it's on the ground, but it's even more dangerous when it's piled on top of your roof, adding as much as 20,000 pounds of weight, the equivalent of a school bus sitting on top of your house. Protect your home and your loved ones this winter with Roofer Joe, the easy-to-use telescoping roof rake by Snow Joe. With Roofer Joe, you can easily clear snow, wet leaves, and other debris from your roof while standing firmly and safely on solid ground. No more climbing up shaky ladders. The Roofer Joe model RJ204M is built with an innovative twist and lock telescoping pole that quickly adjusts from 6.2 feet to an impressive 21 feet for even greater reach. Lengthen the telescopic pole by rotating the handle knob clockwise while extending the pole to your desired length. Secure it in position by twisting the knob counterclockwise. Weighing only 4.8 pounds, Roofer Joe is super easy to handle. Plus, Roofer Joe has a large 6 inch by 25 inch poly blade rake head that's ultra durable for maximum clearing power. This winter, when it comes to snow, go with Joe, the Roofer Joe telescoping roof rake from Snow Joe. Heavy snow and ice dams causing havoc on your house? Don't let Mother Nature ruin your roof. Prevent damage due to heavy snow loads and save on costly roof repairs with Snow Joe RJ205M, the handy, easy to use, and affordable telescoping roof rake that quickly lets you remove heavy snow, wet leaves, and other debris from your roof while standing safely on solid ground. RJ205M boasts an innovative twist and lock telescoping pole that quickly and easily adjusts from 6.2 feet to a whopping 21 feet for even greater overhead reach to quickly and safely lighten the load without the need for a ladder. And at just 5.7 pounds, RJ205M is ultra lightweight, durable, and easy to handle. Its oversized aluminum blade rake head measures 6 inches wide by 25 inches long for maximum clearing power with each pass. And every RJ205M comes with Snow Joe's complete to your warranty. So when the snow comes down and the roof piles up, ditch the ladder and go with Joe. The RJ205M telescoping roof rake from Snow Joe. Get equipped. The components you should have are a handle, a blade, an angled pole, two braces, two one and a half inch bolts, three nuts, two half-inch bolts, one washer, one square nut, and one snap button. You may receive extra snap buttons in your hardware bag, but they're not needed for the assembly of this tool. If you're missing some nuts, confirm that one is not already pre-assembled into the back of your blade. Step one, take the square nut and place it in the corresponding slot on the front of the blade. Step two, place the round end of the angled pole into the opening on the front of the blade. Adjust the pole in or out to align the hole in the blade with the hole in the handle. Take a one and a half inch bolt and the washer and insert it through the blade, through the hole in the angled pole and into the square nut on the other side. Tighten this bolt. Do not over tighten. Step three, attach both braces to the sides of the angled pole using the other one and a half inch bolt and a nut. The braces are angled differently at each end. Place the less sharp angle against the pole. Do not tighten yet. Step four, attach both braces to the blade using a half inch bolt and nut on each side. Make sure to place the nut fully in the indentation on the back side of the blade. You may have to put a little pressure on the braces to align the holes properly. If you followed the prior instructions to not tighten the previous nuts, you should be able to do this without much difficulty. Tighten these bolts as well as the previous bolts firmly attaching the braces to the pole and the blade. Do not over tighten. Step 5. Place a snap button into the flattened end of the angled pole. 
the button part of the snap button should go into one of the holes on either side of the angled pole. You need to squeeze the snap button together to be able to insert it. Once in, you should be able to push it further in the handle until the button pops out of the hole. Step 6. Place the end of the angled pole into the end of your handle. You will need to push the snap button in slightly to get it in. Then insert it further in until the snap button pops out the hole. In the